next speaker is Dr. Wendy Cole, who is a native Ohioan who practiced in the Northeast Ohio for over 22 years. She's an adjunct professor and the director of wound care research at Kent State University of Podiatric Medicine. In addition, Dr. Cole is board certified by the American Board of Foot and Ankle Surgery and the American Board of Wound Management. She has been a dedicated wound care advocate for over two decades, focusing on medical education, diabetic foot care, wound care, limb salvage, and clinical research. Dr. Cole has published numerous peer-reviewed and industry articles on these topics and is a sought-after uh, speaker for both national and international conferences. She is a prolific writer and serves as editor for several wound-related journals. Dr. Cole is a member of the ACCWS Board of Directors and sits on the advisory board of multiple emerging biotech companies where she has been integral in collaborating on innovative research protocols in this space. Dr. Cole. Thank you, Pamela, and thank you all for joining us for this presentation. Uh, disclosure, I do act as a Global Medical Affairs Director for Natrox Wound Care, and I will not be discussing any off-label use of the product today. So our learning objectives is to introduce the utility of Natrox topical oxygen therapy in patient management of chronic wounds. We're going to discuss the importance of oxygen uh, and the role it plays throughout the wound healing process. We're going to describe to you Natrox topical oxygen therapy, and we're going to present some current data on uh, the utility of topical oxygen therapy in wound healing. So who here has heard of topical oxygen therapy and wound management? Great. Who has used topical oxygen therapy in their clinical practice? Well, maybe after today we could change that number. So you know that oxygen is important to all cellular processes just for normal steady state living conditions, right? But when tissues are wounded, uh, the need for oxygen actually increases by three times. And the reason is that every single cellular process that's needed for tissue repair and regeneration is oxygen dependent. So oxygen helps to support angiogenesis or new blood vessel growth, cellular metabolism. It helps to allow for the body to effectively have the antimicrobial processes with the neutrophils and macrophages to occur so that wounds don't become infected and patients don't deteriorate. It helps to promote growth factors and cytokines, those growth substances that usually are senescent in a lot of our patients with chronic wounds and comorbidities. It's ultra important to collagen synthesis, which is really the key to wound healing and wound closure, and then also cellular proliferation, re-epithelialization, so that end result, the keratinocytes, uh, really putting down the epithelial layer and getting our patients on to, to healing. So I'm gonna introduce you today to uh, Natrox topical oxygen wound therapy, and it's different than other topical oxygen therapy that, that are available on the market. So Natrox is an FT FDA cleared and compact battery uh, produced a wearable device. And the wearable is what we're really going to focus on. I think it's really important because it supports the patient across their wound healing journey, allows them to continue their activities of daily living, and increases their quality of life and their adherence, which we all know we struggle with with our chronic wound care patients. So the oxygen generator is very lightweight. It's about the size of a cell phone, and it pulls the air from the environment. There's an electrochemical reaction within the device that cleaves the oxygen, concentrates it, and delivers it through the tubing to the oxygen oxygen delivery system, and that's that wagon wheel device, and that actually goes down into the wound and stays into the wound and continues to deliver this oxygen to the wounded tissue 24-7. It's wonderful because it can be used as an adjunct to current standard of care therapies. You can use it with collagens. You can use it with cellular and tissue products. You could use it under compression dressings. You could use it under offloading with TCCs or removable cast boots. Again, if it's into your current algorithm of care and just provides a, another tool for you to support wound management in these very difficult patients. And it's designed to be very simple. It's discreet. So it could be clipped onto the lower leg. It can be put in a pocket. It could be put onto a belt. Again, 
Functionality is key to allow for the patients to be mobile, continue to work, continue to see their family members, go to church, go to bingo, take their walks, do all the things that we want them to do. So it's very easy to use. The only thing the patient has to do is change the battery once a day. The battery has about a 24 to 36 hour charge. So there's two batteries that come with the device. One is plugged into the wall and the other one would uh, generate uh, the oxygen in the device and they switch it out every day. They could keep it by their coffee coffee machine, their toothbrush, their morning medications, and that's simply all they have to do. It's indicated to treat really all chronic wound etiology, so diabetic foot ulcers, venous leg ulcers, pressure injuries, and non-healing surgical wounds as well. Over the past decade, there has been a mountain of evidence that's been amassed to support not only the safety and efficacy of the patient, of the topical oxygen therapy for patients, but also patient feedback as well. And I think that's really important. So we've all seen the evidence pyramid. And if you really dive into the evidence pyramid, pyramid for topical oxygen therapy. We know that there's systematic reviews and meta-analyses, which are super important. They're on the top of the period pyramid. Uh, and then RCTs, which we're going to dive into, our pivotal RCT, and then a lot of real-world evidence in, in, by way of case series and case studies and cohort studies. So again, there's a lot of evidence that's come out in support of topical oxygen in the past decade. So really what made me a believer in the technology is participating in a randomized controlled trial uh, for diabetic foot ulcers. So this trial, uh, the publication occurred in 2021, but we actually uh, participated in the trial uh, during COVID. So that was in its own challenge. Uh, but 145 patients were enrolled in this trial. And they all had difficult to heal diabetic foot ulcers. And when I say they were difficult to heal, we had a rigorous uh, screening period and run in period. So these patients had to historically have had an ulcer for at least four weeks or greater that had not decreased in size by 40% or more through that you know, standard of care wherever they came from in our clinics or if they referred to us from our friends and colleagues. But then we had a really rigorous run-in period as well. It was a four week run in period. So every patient that were, we were looking to enter into the trial after consenting had a four week standard of care run in period. So debridement, moisture managing dressings with inert dressings, either an alginate or a foam, and everybody with a plantar foot ulcer were offloaded in a total contact cast. We watched these patients for that four weeks. Now, with that rigorous standard of care, if the patients did not heal 40% or greater, then they were included into the trial. If the patients went on a healing trajectory within that four weeks with standard of care, they were not entered into the clinical trial. We really wanted these wounds that were not healing with good standard of care. So we followed these patients then weekly. Uh, they were placed either in the, they continued in standard of care or they got the topical oxygen therapy and then we followed them up uh, weekly for a 12-week period of time. So the results are, for the Natrox group, 52% uh, of the patients healed completely in that 12-week study period. We saw 71% greater healing in the topical oxygen therapy cohort. And on average, we had 73% greater wound area reduction in the treatment arm of, of this study, which, again, really made me a believer in the technology. What's really interesting, and this goes back to that collagen deposition that I talked about, we all know what we get elated when Mrs. Smith or Mrs. Jones heals, but three months later when they call back and say, man, my wound re-injured, I need another appointment, we kind of feel deflated. So not only healing wounds in a more rapid manner, but healing wounds with better skin turgor, better skin quality, and supporting that collagen deposition so we don't have this high recidivism rate we see in diabetic foot ulcers and venous leg ulcers is super important. So the study that I just told you about, the diabetic foot ulcer study, the patients that healed either in the treatment cohort or the standard of care cohort were followed uh, out another year. And we looked back to see what the durability of those healed wounds were after a year. And what we found is the patients that had healed with Natrox topical oxygen therapy, 85% of those patients remained heal, healed after a year. And only 60% of the patients that healed with the standard of care treatment remained healed. So there's definitely, you know, uh, uh, proof in that pudding for durability. 
The other thing that's very interesting is the pain study uh, that was done in Karolinska. As uh, an anecdotal finding, we were seeing patients having a decrease in, in wound pain during the trial, and, and these researchers showed when they looked back at, at uh, in a retrospective analysis of 20 patients, they saw that patients had a significant decrease in their pain over time. Most even stopped opioid use. So we're doing a larger clinical trial, and we're going to look into the mechanism of action of pain because non-opioid pain uh, reduction is a super big uh, issue in, in, in our industry. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to skip past these because I want to play a really important video for you. I had six months of wound treatment with little results. Everything was made harder. Anything I did was just an effort to do. When I finally got this, it was really a miracle. With all the different things, you tried everything. It was a miracle to me to be without pain. I'm 91, I said it gave me a new life. It, it, it just worked, it worked. And I was one of the lucky ones to get it, thank you. So thank you, and please stop by booth 224 to learn more and learn more about the patient uh, journey that was on that video. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Cole.